In this tutorial, we are going to go over how to operate your Data Video NVS33 and Data Video Video Streaming Studio. Starting with the front panel, you'll see a dedicated button for input, bitrate, record, plus stream, record only, and stream only. On the NVS33, to change your input, press down on the input button for 3 seconds. It will start flashing and you can toggle between HDMI and SDI. To change the bitrate of your data video encoder, before you press the bitrate button, first you must choose which operation mode you would like to use. Either record plus stream, record only, or stream only. Select an operation mode by holding down the button for 3 seconds. And then when it starts flashing red, immediately press the bitrate button and you will be able to toggle between high, medium, and low. After you have selected the bitrate you would like to use, your data video encoder will continue to blink white then red until it turns solid red. Then you will know it has successfully began recording and or streaming. To stop, press down the button for three seconds and when it stops blinking red and is solid white, recording and streaming has successfully stopped. To learn more about the record and stream settings of your NVS33 or Video Streaming Studio, there is a link to a tutorial in the description below. If the button keeps flashing red and does not turn solid, and you are recording, double check your SD card is formatted properly. If you are streaming, double check the information for your stream destination is correct. Now let's move on to the web interface. To access the user interface of your Data Video NVS33 or Video Streaming Studio using the browser of your computer or tablet, you will need to network it with your router and figure out its IP address. To learn how to do that and connect it to your tablet or computer, there's a link to the tutorial in the description below for that as well. Now, assuming you're connected, let's start in operation mode. Here you can start the record, stream, and record plus stream functions just like you would using the front buttons on the panel. Select your operation mode and scroll down to the bottom of the page and select Start. After the loading screen finishes, you can confirm the operation has begun by seeing the corresponding button light up solid red and also a record symbol next to the operation mode that you selected. To stop recording or streaming, click the Stop button. Moving on to the Storage tab, here you can format and manage your media. You can choose between XFAT, FAT32, and NTFS. Select a storage format of your choice and click Format Storage Disk to format it. All of your data will be erased. When formatting is successful, you'll see the full capacity available for your SD card. Under the System tab, you can manage your network settings. You can also change your default username and password from admin and six zeros to something more secure. Enter your default username and password, click Apply, then create a new username and password. If you need to repair a file, you can do it under the File Repair tab. Choose a file from the list and click Submit to repair it. You can find more links to helpful articles and tutorials for your data video encoder in the description below. Follow us on social media for the latest news and more videos. Thanks for watching.